Qualification versus Validation in the Pharmaceutical Industry. Welcome to this video on Qualification versus Validation in the Pharmaceutical Industry. These two terms are essential in ensuring product quality, regulatory compliance, and patient safety. In this video, we will break down their definitions, differences, and importance. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of how qualification and validation work together in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Let's get started. The pharma industry operates under strict regulatory requirements to ensure product safety and efficacy. Compliance with guidelines like good manufacturing practices, GMP, is critical. Qualification and validation are fundamental components of GMP. They provide documented evidence that facilities, equipment, and processes perform as expected. Understanding these concepts is key for professionals in the pharma industry. Qualification is the documented process of ensuring that facilities, equipment, utilities, and systems are properly installed, work correctly, and meet predefined specifications. It consists of several stages, including design qualification, DQ, installation qualification, IQ, operational qualification, OQ, and performance qualification, PQ. Qualification ensures that equipment and systems are fit for their intended use before production begins. Validation is the documented process that provides assurance that a process, method, or system consistently produces the expected results. It applies to manufacturing processes, cleaning procedures, analytical methods, and software systems. Validation ensures that products meet quality standards consistently and helps prevent deviations and failures in production. The key difference is that qualification focuses on equipment and systems, whereas validation focuses on processes. Qualification ensures that manufacturing equipment and utilities are properly installed and function as expected. Validation, on the other hand, ensures that processes such as sterilization, tablet compression, or cleaning consistently produce the desired results. Both qualification and validation are critical for ensuring product safety, efficacy, and compliance with regulatory guidelines. Identify potential risks, prevent contamination, and maintain product quality. Regulatory agencies like the FDA, EMA, and WHO require documented evidence of qualification and validation. Non-compliance can lead to severe consequences, including product recalls and facility shutdowns. Regulatory agencies set strict requirements for qualification and validation. Key guidelines include FDA's 21 CFR Part 211, CGMP Regulations, EU GMP Annex 15, Qualification and Validation, IH Q7, Q8, Q9, Q10, Covering Pharmaceutical Development and Quality Risk Management. These guidelines provide a framework for ensuring equipment and processes meet quality standards. Equipment and facility qualification occur in four stages. Design qualification, DQ, ensuring design meets user requirements. Installation qualification, IQ, confirming correct installation. Operational qualification, OQ, testing functionality and performance. Performance qualification, PQ, ensuring equipment consistently performs as expected in real production conditions. Design qualification, DQ, verifies that the design of equipment, systems, and facilities meets regulatory and operational requirements. It is done before procurement or installation and includes risk assessments, material specifications, and technical documentation review. DQ ensures that purchased equipment aligns with process requirements. Installation qualification, IQ, ensures that equipment, utilities, and systems are installed correctly according to manufacturer specifications. It involves checking wiring, calibration, piping, and documentation. IQ also verifies that proper manuals and SRPs are available before moving to the next qualification stage. Operational qualification, OQ, tests whether the installed equipment functions correctly under operational conditions. This phase includes functional tests, control system verification, and alarm testing. OQ ensures that equipment operates as expected before it is used in production. Performance qualification, P2, ensures that equipment consistently performs according to requirements under real production conditions. 
peak year tests include batch runs, stress testing, and long-term stability studies. Once PQ is complete, the equipment is officially ready for commercial production. There are several types of validation, including process validation, ensuring manufacturing processes produce consistent quality, cleaning validation, ensuring no cross-contamination between batches, analytical method validation, ensuring accuracy of analytical test methods, computer system validation, ensuring software systems work correctly. Process validation ensures that a manufacturing process consistently produces a quality product. It includes prospective validation, conducted before routine production, concurrent validation, performed during actual production, retrospective validation, conducted using past production data, revalidation, reassessing validation periodically. Cleaning validation ensures that equipment is free from residues, contaminants, and cross-contamination. It includes setting acceptance criteria for residual limits, performing swab and rinse tests, documenting cleaning procedures and results. Cleaning validation is essential in multi-product facilities to maintain GMP compliance. Analytical methods must be validated to ensure accuracy, precision, specificity, and reproducibility. Common validation parameters include linearity, accuracy, precision detection, and quantitation. Limits, validated analytical methods ensure that raw materials, intermediates, and finished products meet specifications. CSV ensures that computerized systems used in pharmaceutical manufacturing and quality control function correctly. It follows GAMP 5 guidelines and includes risk assessments, software testing data. Integrity checks, CSV is crucial for compliance with 21 CFR. Part 11, electronic records and signatures. Qualification documents focus on equipment and systems, e.g. IQ, OQ, PQ reports. Validation documents focus on processes, e.g. process validation master plan, validation protocols. Both require detailed protocols, acceptance criteria, and reports for regulatory compliance. Common mistakes include incomplete documentation, lack of risk assessment, inadequate training of personnel, failure to revalidate systems periodically. Avoiding these mistakes ensures compliance and operational efficiency. Requalification is required when Major modifications are made to equipment or systems. Periodic assessments indicate performance deviations. Changes in regulatory requirements occur. New product lines are introduced. Requalification ensures continued compliance with GMP standards. Revalidation is necessary when significant process changes are made. New raw materials or suppliers are introduced. Equipment is replaced or upgraded deviations or failures occur in the process. Regular revalidation ensures process consistency and reliability. During GMP audits, regulators review qualification and validation protocols and reports, deviation reports and corrective actions, training records for personnel change control documentation, proper documentation and adherence to procedures help avoid regulatory non-compliance. To ensure compliance, companies should implement risk-based approaches for validation, use well-defined acceptance criteria, ensure cross-functional collaboration between engineering, quality, and production teams, maintain comprehensive documentation, regularly train personnel on current qualification and validation practices,